really concerned with trading Garoppolo. The market is very small, in my opinion. I think you look at this, the NFL landscape, only two teams stand out to me, Denver and New England. I think one of those two teams should be getting Garoppolo, and I bet those two teams are probably the only teams that are going to make offers for Garoppolo. I don't think teams like Washington would offer anything because they have Fitzpatrick. Most teams have a rookie in place or they have a bridge quarterback in place ready to go for 2022. So in my opinion, it's going to be tough trading him. I think the value you're looking at a third minimum, I'm hoping for a second. You've seen the rumors that New England might give up a first. I don't believe that at this point. We'll have to see what happens. But yeah, that's what I think about Garoppolo. Jesse, what about you? What do you think about Garoppolo moving on? Yeah, I mean, this is the worst kept secret in the league. We've we've all known that they were trying to get rid of Garoppolo. We knew it before they traded up to three. We certainly knew it after they traded up to three. And anybody who actually thought he was in the plans for this year, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the writing's been on the wall the whole time. I will say this. I actually do think Washington could be a player in it, and I think the Bears could be as well. That said, possibly two out of those four teams are going to get a quarterback in this draft. So if that happens, that still leaves us with two possible options. Those guys aren't going to bid against themselves. I would say probably a third rounder unless we're willing to throw something else in to maybe make that a second rounder. Maybe we want to throw in our third rounder to get up into the second round, or maybe we want to take a future pick that could escalate from a third round to a second round or something like that. But to me, yeah, Garoppolo is as good as gone. He's not going to make it until the end of day Sunday. And that's just what it is. I'm, I'm curious to see where he ends up. And as Kyle Shanahan said, he doesn't even know if he's going to be alive on Sunday. <laughs> so we'll have to see what happens there. Ben, what about you? What you got to say about Jimmy Garoppolo? Well, you know, I think I, I would agree with a lot of what everyone has said so far, but I, I really think the Niners are going to struggle to trade Mac or to trade Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, I mean, let's just be real. There's not going to be many options. And if you get, I think it's going to be interesting. One thing is going to be uh, who's going to wear number 10. Um, but you know, besides that, uh, I, I, I listen, I, I just think with Jimmy, like Jesse said, it's the worst kept secret in the league. So I don't think he has that second round value. Even right now, you look at how many injuries he's had, how expensive he is, unless he's already agreeing to a contract, um, restructure ahead of time, which even even if we can't get a second round pick, I still think he's going to have to restructure his contract. It's that bad of a situation. And because the Niners have been so blatant with what they've been doing, it, it makes it a lot easier for teams who are interested in him. And then like for all the reasons Jesse mentioned, there's so few teams actually interested in him. And that, that's going to be even more narrowed down during the draft because we literally don't know what's going to happen. And, and this year is going to be as crazy as a draft as ever. So, um, yeah, I, I just think overall they're going to have a really tough time trading Jimmy.